This is Max Williams with United Real Estate and today I'm in Bonaire. More specifically, I am off the Buford Road corridor. Today we're going to take a look at a five bedroom, three and a half bath home. This beautiful home is located here on a nice park-like lot. This is four tenths of an acre and just have a beautiful, beautiful view here, particularly from the front porch. This home was built during the bicentennial, 1976, and we've got uh, some really nice upgrades, a recent renovation. You will re recognize some of the finishing touches here on this home. If you've seen my past three or four videos, uh, this one was done by the same investor. Okay, we're going to go on in. Uh, this home, we're actually going to start in the basement and then work our way up. That's a little different for me. We're going to do a little change of pace here. Today we're going to talk about some of Max's favorites. Some of Max's favorites. One of the best parts about being a real estate professional is that every day I'm someplace different. And some days I spend quite a bit of time on the laptop working. When I do work on the laptop, I like to be in an environment that is conducive to me. Not only getting work done, but also enjoying the time in that space. Sometimes, Barry Manilow and Buble just don't cut it. And I need some Lauren Hill and some Biggie in my life. And that's what Brewster's Cafe delivers. Brewster's Cafe is located on Bainbridge Street in South Richmond. It's one block over from Croker Spot. If you've been in Richmond for any period of time and you have not visited Croker Spot, you definitely need to reevaluate some of your life decisions. It is truly one of the gems when it comes to seafood, soul seafood in Richmond. One of the things that uh, I love about Brewster's is not only they have lightning fast internet, but also interesting people. Um, people from all walks of life will come in and uh, spend time. I get to know some of the people that are regulars there. Uh, it's really neat because uh, A.J. Brewer, who is the owner, has a three-year-old son, and he's got a little section of the coffee shop that's dedicated to his son. And it is a store uh, with a little cash register and uh, small little items that uh, anybody can purchase. And he's basically setting that seed in his son that, hey, entrepreneurship is a good viable option for you. And so it's really neat to see that interaction with him and his son. He also is in the process of opening a, another establishment on Hall Street, which is of course one block over, which is gonna feature waffles and milkshake. And uh, I believe it's gonna be 24 hours. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I was really excited to hear that because not only will that allow me to expand my productivity, but also my waistline at the same time. Uh, he currently has a art gallery that is that doubles as event space on Hall Street as well. So if you have a small event, that might be a great option for you. The other gym that uh, particularly I enjoy in Southside is the James River Park System. Uh, many of you know that I am a semi-pro photographer, maxwilliamsphotography.com, and some of my favorite images were actually shot in the James River Park System. So I think that's a huge, huge gym that a lot of people don't even realize we have. You can be within eyesight of major, major uh, tall buildings, tall office buildings, and sit riverside, see exotic birds. Uh, it is just truly an amazing place to be right there in the city of limits of Richmond. You would never know that you were in the city limits of Richmond, but um, uh, people just kind of take it for granted. So. If you are local, make sure you spend some time here, especially before it gets cool, and uh, take a walk, take a stroll, take a mountain bike ride, whatever you choose to do, and enjoy the James River Park system. Okay, this beauty is really, really nice. I see some features here that are really impressive that you only get really in older homes. Um, we're going to see upstairs that we have wood floors throughout the second level that today in new construction would cost you an arm and a leg uh, 
you just don't see it to any great extent that's one of the beauties of a resale home is that you don't have to pay for the upgrades that someone else has already either purchased or had installed while they were the owners of the home okay we've got a beautiful kitchen as you just saw uh, we're gonna go upstairs at this point the other thing I wanted to point out here in this beautiful Florida room is wood floors I don't think I've ever seen wood floors like this in a Florida room that's pretty unusual okay beautiful beautiful look the windows are going to be replaced throughout in this home and you probably can see the sheen the shine on these wood floors our master is here to the left we're going to finish up there uh, and start here down the hall nice large vanity i love 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 the colors in this home beautiful tile floors they always do a nice job here with the details in the bathroom area we're gonna make our way across this is bedroom number two downstairs was actually a legitimate bedroom so that makes this a five bedroom house linen closet right here really good sized rooms with good natural light that flows into them the other great thing about this location is you're relatively close to the city you don't have a lot of the traffic that you would have if you are a worker uh, where your, your job is in the city you're not going to have a really bad commute because you're not going to have a heavy traffic load going to work like we see in some parts of metro richmond area okay we're going to now transition into our master really good size master here once again these wood floors are just an immaculate uh, they are great if you have an allergy uh, you don't have to worry about dealing with carpet. Now, when I saw this, I immediately knew what they did here. When this home was built, they had a vanity right here. And these covers, these were sconces. There was a window, excuse me, a mirror right there. And basically, that was the common feature that they had in the 70s with homes. The person that did the renovation, he obviously took that out. And that's a great place if you wanted to put a... Um, a dresser uh, or you could put uh, some other type of furniture maybe a little table decorative table there uh, so it's a great great way to use that space really nicely appointed master bath here once again we see the same beautiful tile work in this home that we've seen over the past few days okay if you have any questions for me on this or any other home on the market be sure to let me know be sure to please like and to subscribe i love to hear from you if you have any special requests things that you would like to see or not see be sure to let me know i will do all i can to accommodate remember we've got the rent to own program you can get a home similar to this one in the rent to own program perfect if you're relocating from out of town and not quite sure where you want to be or what the future is going to hold for you max williams 402-7788 you can reach on facebook under richmond area foreclosures on youtube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Have a great day.